Hi guys, it's Serena. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been ages and every time I come back, I'm like, it's been ages, but it really has been ages. And my only excuse is I just completely underestimated uh, the time and energy it takes to raise kids, especially two. So I know I promised a lot of different videos for this year, but unfortunately my priority is uh, with my kids and of course next fall's work and so YouTube has kind of been on the back burner and I'm really really sorry but um, now hopefully I will push out some regular videos uh, hopefully once a week uh, but I'm not going to make any promises. Uh, I do have some wonderful favorites that I do want to share with you this month so let's get right into them. So the first favorite I want to share with you today is a mist by CMP Laboratory. If you are into Korean products, I'm sure you've all heard of this brand. Um, it is actually a really good brand, especially if, if you have sensitive and dry skin. This is their Propolis Ampule Mist. And this is such an amazing, amazing mist. If you like the Tatcha Mist, um, you will love this even more because it does come in an aerosol spray, which makes the mist super fine. That way, it's just great to apply it after your makeup as well. So I feel like this mist has just really helped keep my skin looking very glowy, dewy, and it's also helped with the dryness as well. So yeah, I highly, highly recommend uh, this mist. It's definitely going to be uh, in my routine for a very long time. My next favorite is also another skin favorite and it's by Physio Gel or Physio Gel as they pronounce it here in Korea and it's their daily moisture therapy facial cream. It does say that it's for dry and sensitive skin but I do feel like it could work for people who have um, normal skin types or even oily skin types as well because it, even though it does, it is labeled as a cream, it is in my opinion fairly light but definitely try it out if you can sample it first. Try it out um, because I have dry skin so I can't really speak for people who have oily skin. Just all winter long I've had really tight sort of rough feeling skin and I've been trying like different types of creams but nothing was really taking care of that problem and what's wonderful about this cream is I really do feel like it tackles the dry spots and it even sort of uh, minimizes the redness on my cheeks that I get as well so yeah it's just it's just an been an amazing cream, also pretty cheap, uh, despite the fact that it is pretty big. I think I got it for about a little over 20,000 won. I want to say 23 or 25,000 won. Um, I got it on Coupang, and it's been one of the best purchases for my skin this winter. Now, whenever I go into department stores, I always see Laura Mercier, but you know what? I've never really bought products from there before, which is just so odd because they have the most beautiful packaging. Um, so I ended up buying a highlighter there and this is their Matte Radiance Baked Powder and it's Highlight Dash 01, so I'm guessing that's the shade. Um, it's a very natural color, really beautiful. It's baked and you, you do get a lot of product. Uh, I personally don't highlight my face that much. Even when I do, I only kind of put it in sort of this sunken area here and a little bit under my eyes or the egg area. Um, so I feel like this will last me a really long time. It's such a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. It's very natural. It's not like the dry powdery look, it's more of the glowy dewy wet sort of highlighter which I absolutely love. So after I fell in love with this product, I actually ended up getting a few more things there and if you want me to do a video on like eyeshadow bases, uh, because I really think that eyeshadow bases are very, very important when it comes to your makeup. Laura Mercier actually has exceptional ones that I'd love to share with you. Uh, yeah, so this highlighter is amazing. It really is, and I'm so happy I bought it. Next up is a makeup favorite, and this is a lip tint by Giorgio Armani. It's their Lip Magnet, and it's in shade 301. It's sort of a very bright, 
corally color and this is great if you like to do gradient lips uh, that's popular here in Korea and I actually have it on right now I mixed it in with a different lipstick uh, but basically this is really great to put sort of in your inner uh, parts of your lips uh, and Korean women like to do that to sort of give um, give your lips a sort of youthful pop and uh, and yeah this is great for that I mean you have you see it here I think it's perfect for spring next is this nasal spray gosh I talk about like the weirdest things on my channel um, but I really could not not talk about this uh, this is a nasal spray it's by Physiomer uh, I hope that's how you pronounce it. Uh, they sell it here at Korean pharmacies and they have the baby version and they also have the adult version. I like to just use the baby version because the spray itself is a lot gentler and it still does the job. This is great for people who have rhinitis. Um, so when you have inflammation in your nose area, um, you kind of spray this through your nose and it relieves uh, those sort of symptoms. It's also great when you sort of feel a cold coming. Uh, when my kids get sick and I cannot get sick, I spray this in my nose. I just take any measure that I can to keep myself from getting sick because obviously it's they just really need me when they're sick so we can't all be sick um, so this is one of the things that i use uh, it's really great to clear up congestion it's very soothing it's not the most comfortable thing so if you want to get your kids or toddlers or babies to use it it's going to take a bit of work and talking to them on uh, about why they should use it Obviously, even adults will not like anything that's going up their nose, so my kids don't really like it, but my son, if I really talk him into it, he will do it. So yeah, but it, this is actually more for me. Um, so especially because spring is coming and we've got uh, yellow dust season just up ahead here in Seoul and Korea, this is really great to have and just keep in your medicine cabinet for any emergencies as well. Next is a book I want to share with all you parents out there. Even if you're not parents, if you're teachers, this book will help you. Even if you're planning to have kids in the future, this book is amazing. I'm actually listening to it for the second time and I really don't do that very often. Um, it's a book called No Drama Discipline. Uh, it's by Daniel J. Siegel and Tina Payne Bryson. And this book just talks about disciplining your kids and ways to discipline your kids in a peaceful and effective way. Uh, the bottom line of the book is simply that people often confuse discipline with punishment, but that's really not how we should look at discipline. Discipline is really about teaching your kids, teaching them how to behave in a certain way, teaching them how to deal with their emotions. So this book talks about how you need to be a receptive parent as opposed to a reactive parent. Uh, and I feel like this idea not only applies well to parenting, but also to your relationships uh, as an adult with your partner, with your friends, with your coworkers. Because oftentimes people are very reactive. When somebody's angry and freaking out, the way we react is usually in a very negative way as well. But what that person really needs is just somebody to um, really listen to them. And that's the same with kids. The last thing I want if I'm really upset and angry is my husband to be like, why are you angry? There's nothing to be angry about. You know, you're, you're making it a big deal. That's the last thing I want. What I want from my husband is probably his love and support so that's the same with kids oftentimes when kids get upset we sort of want to push them away especially when they're they have tantrums they throw tantrums you just want to kind of be like okay you know what you need a time out let's talk about it when you calm down or you know we try to shut them out and I think that's well from this book what I've learned is that is uh, one of the worst ways to deal with um, these sort of situations because anyone in a very stressful just very emotional situation you can't control your emotions so as parents it's our job to help them deal with their emotions talk through their emotions and also talk through why they why they're making certain um, actions 
so by just being very receptive, listening to what they have to say. Obviously, everyone needs some time to calm down, but it's really about listening to how they feel and why they did what they did uh, instead of imposing, you know, how they should behave. So yeah, I mean, there's just so many points in this book. And what's great about this book is that it really gives very practical examples uh, to show you how to really deal with certain situations. Uh, that's why I'm actually reading this book again because there's just so much to absorb. At the end of the day, I think we often assume that parenting should come naturally. But, you know, whether we like it or not, we get a lot of influence from the upbringing that we had when we were a child, the good and the bad. So that really influences us to you know, discipline our children in a certain way. So I always think it's really important to reflect on, uh, on everything that you do. This is an amazing book, uh, especially if your kids are toddlers, they have very big emotions uh, and they throw lots of tantrums and you are stressed and tired. Uh, yeah, read this book. It will really help you think things through about uh, what parenting should be. All right, that is it for my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Let me know what your favorites were down below in the comment box and um, have yourselves a wonderful April. Finally, things are warming up here in Korea uh, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.